equals three studios. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, it's the first episode. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Uh, there's a lot of new stuff happening and we're gonna find out as we do this. So it's gonna be a fantastic thing, a fantastic journey, if you will. Uh, but obviously we can't get started until we make it official. And there's only, there's only one way to make it official, guys. <laughs> it's with the baby. Is the baby okay? Oh my God, baby! Talk to me, baby! Talk to me, baby! <laughs> Don't do this to me, it's my first episode! <laughs> okay, let's do it. All right, guys, bring it in. As you can see, we already have something new we wanna, we wanna show you. I've been working at this for the last six months. I learned coding. I talked to Zuckerberg, and he told me how to do this, and this is where we have a fancy new sidebar. Mira que fancy! Pero mira que fancy! That's right, it's my top videos of the week, and you get to see what's coming. The last one is my favorite, and it's obscured, because we don't want to spoil it until you get to the end, my friends. So that's what's happening. I want you to stick around. I'm gonna say condoms. That's all I'm gonna say about it. You're gonna have to find, what, what is it? You're gonna have to stick around. So what do you say? We get started. I don't play a lot of golf, but if it was more like this, I'd take a stab at it. So these two guys are at the Hervey Bay Golf Course, and it looks like one of them is running away from something. Connor, Connor, get in the cart. Razy, get in the cart. Razy, get in the cart. What is this guy freaking out about? It's just golf. What are you, what are you afraid of, bad pants? Get in the cart. Get, get in the cart. Get in the cart. Get in the cart. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, shit. Holy snapped, it's a kangaroo. That kangaroo looks pissed. <laughs> What did these guys do to piss him off? These guys knew that people were gonna think they were provoking the kangaroo, so they made a point to make an annotation saying, these guys were not hitting balls at the kangaroo. Really? Why is it following you? Because you were just walking around? And suddenly he was like, oh, you're in my nine. These guys sound terrified. And for good reason. Fun fact, kangaroos have like, Claws, and they will just rip your face apart. <laughs> Tearing you apart. It's science. It's kind of scary, but it's the closest thing they'll ever get to that scene from Jurassic Park. Must go faster, must go faster, must go faster. Am I the only one who secretly wants the kangaroo to catch up to him? Just me. Is it just me? It's not like they're empty handed. They have two bags full of weapons, yo. That's more than enough to fend off a zombie kangaroo attack. This came out over a month ago and it already has over one million views. Hey, maybe the kangaroo was their caddy. <gasps> Plot twist. Where's my money? Where's my money, you cheap asses? And that was my attempt at Australian accents. Certified Australian. You know what, I feel really fancy. You know what I like to do? I like to make a waiter bring out the biggest, baddest bottle of champagne. But when I feel super fancy, I have him do this. This guy is about to open this bottle of champagne in a high-end restaurant. You can tell it's a high-end restaurant because he's using a sword. Oh no, he better be careful. That cork is a projectile. That can hurt somebody. It can hurt some of those nice people in their ridiculous hats. I don't want anything to happen to those hats. Please save the hats. <laughs> Hmm, looks like the only thing that got hurt was his pride. Whatever was left of it. I mean, look at his face. You could tell the whole time that he knew it was not gonna end well. Hey, are you sure about this, guys? Because this is my first day. All right, if you say so. All right, I'm gonna do this. Okay, here it goes. Your funeral. Yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, poor guy. He looks so bummed. He probably just got over losing his last job performing circumcisions. Muscle tough. Honestly, if you ask me, I think swords are underused. Open letter. Haircut. Babysitting. <sighs> Can opener. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. This was posted a few weeks ago and already has more than 25,000 views. And worst of all, he messed up in front of so many people. So many fancy hatted people. I have ad envy. It's a real thing. There are a lot of birds that can swim. Ducks, loons, herons, but chickens? 
I guess we'll find out. So this woman is walking towards a pool with a chicken, and I think she wants to find out if it can swim. Hey guys, welcome back to Can It Swim? Today's episode, Chicken! Brought to you by Gatorade. Well, she's passing it off to this guy in the pool. Looks like he's gonna place the chicken in the water. Here we go, folks. The moment of truth. Say it with me now. Can. It. Swim. We float. <laughs> Chickens float. I'll be damned, they float. Okay, yeah, no worries. We'll change the name for you. No, here it is. Bam. <laughs> but I mean, it's kind of like a duck, right? Did you think it was gonna be any different? Did you think it was gonna... You know, chickens are not made out of lead. But hey, don't take this moment away from him. He's so excited about it. Chickens float! <laughs> this is freaking cool! Boink, boink. <laughs> I look forward to reading his science journal. These people really want you to know that the chicken can float. Just in case you think this is fake, just when you think it could be a chicken with long legs, Boom! They go underwater, man. So that's pretty much it, right? Anything else we need to cover? Anything else that's noteworthy? Anything that's worth pointing out? Anything at all? No? Okay, moving on. I don't know about you, but I love me some mystery. Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys, Carlos Santos. When zookeepers at this Danish zoo found some mysterious footprints, they knew something was amiss. A clue! The game is afoot. Also, we don't have the, the budget for an actual detective hat, so I just look like an idiot. Ooh, it's a magnifying glass. Oh, this is so exciting. I don't know what's gonna happen. Come on, stop playing with my feelings. Just show me what it is. Oh, it's penguins. Apparently, these penguins got loose from their enclosure, but their handler luckily had a phone and started recording. And you know they're scheming too because they start fluttering faster, okay? Penguins don't walk fast unless they're doing something bad, okay? That's just the way nature works. I kinda wish Morgan Freeman was narrating this a little bit. And they will march as they have done for centuries, living, laughing, loving, as only penguins can. Wait. Did the chicken guy from before have only one hand? That's more of like a drunken Freeman. Captain Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Clearly, these penguins didn't plan ahead because as soon as they hit a dead end, they just went right back and aborted. Whoa, Rob, go back to the enclosure! Whoa. Looks like somebody put their escape plans on ice. <laughs> But Carlos, why didn't the penguins fly away? I'll tell you why, you weird sounding person. Because penguins can't fly. But can they swim? Of course they can swim. Please. If Looney Tunes taught us anything, it's that falling is always funny. But in the real world, you have to wait and find out if this person is okay before you can actively LOL so as not to look like a jerk. So this tiny dot here is pro skier Ian McIntosh, and he's about to ski down this crazy steep slope. Keep an eye on him. Whoop, there it is. Oh, no. Oh, oh, can I laugh? Oh, he's falling so much. I don't know if he's okay. Oh, I run to laugh so hard. Mm, we don't know, we don't know, not yet. Come on, just hurry up. Are you gonna be alive or are you gonna be dead? Come on, please. I'm okay. <laughs> He's okay. And now it's not as funny anymore. This was posted a month ago and these guys were actually shooting a ski movie in the Nikola range of Alaska. <laughs> All right, now that we know that he's okay. <laughs> Woo, it's too long. It's too long to keep laughing. This poor guy had a long time to think about his death. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Mm, ah, uh, I'm kinda hungry. Ooh, did I bring a power bar? Mm, oh, look at that skyline. Mm, I gotta Instagram this. Ah, ah. His life didn't have to flash before his eyes. He could just sit through the whole thing and enjoy it. Speaking of waiting, it's finally time to look at my favorite video of the week. We talked about condoms, and this is why I love it. Remember kids, always use condoms as water balloons. So this guy is about to drop a condom water balloon on this guy's head. As you do with your bro, am I right? Oh man, pop a collar. Mickey Mouse! Hmm. 
Mwah, magnifique. I think I'll call this fish bowling. <laughs> Apparently, this is a thing called the condom head challenge. It's a real thing. It's kind of like the ice bucket challenge, except with condoms and to raise awareness of Japanese men with tiny, tiny underwear. And it's working because I was not aware. And now I know. I get why this guy is in his underwear because you know, he's about to get water dumped on him. But why is this guy wearing underwear? You ready for this, bro? Yeah, man. You don't have to take your pants off though. Oh man, solidarity, bro. <laughs> no, seriously, you don't have to. Don't ruin this for me! You know who else should have been in his underwear? <laughs> Guys, we did it. Si, se, puede! Thank you so much for watching. Yo soy Carlos Santos, y yo apruebo este mensaje. Hasta la próxima, baby! Roll out! Ya tengo el poder! Hey, thanks for watching the Equals 3 show. If you like what you saw, help us out by clicking subscribe. And now, let's play a game. Would you rather be chased by an angry kangaroo or have a water-filled condom dropped on your head by a little Asian man in his underwear? Choose wisely.